morning friends and welcome to Rusty Invention Workshop uh, Yeah, very welcome We're still busy with the, um, the weak whack engine And thank you for all the people subscribing, all the people sharing All the people following me, watching my endeavours I know I'm not perfect I'm only human. <laughs> it's a, it's an excuse in a sense, I suppose. But um, yeah, I'm trying to make it as good as I can. I know there's a couple of mistakes already. <laughs> um, however, I think I think it's still still fixable. I think we could still make this work. And um, yeah. This last couple of days I've sorted, I worked on the rusty steed, I sorted out the workshop and tools and stuff, uh, mostly in a carpentry department, there is a fair amount of tools that I want to sell, um, recuperate some funds, uh, make some space, recuperate I suppose as well. Um, yeah i need i need space and uh at the moment as uh, i'm not working um it's a good time now to do all of that in a sense however that uh it might delay the the milling machine <laughs> uh one step to forward and two backwards some days it feels like um yeah working on a car was a uh, was a bit of a mission uh, however youtube saved me again youtube is brilliant guys um it saved me gave me ideas on how to do it so um saying that i'm not not through with that yet i'm waiting for parts and then i'll probably go back on it so in the meantime in the evenings I have sanded the column up, the flywheel was pretty good, I have sanded that, still needs polishing up at the um, outside of the uh, uh, cylinder, the uh, crank, I managed to get that in fairly decent condition, however all of this really needs polishing up, and of course the base which I might add on a little thing on top just a little plate because by the looks of this I need only about a mill or a mill and a half something to just lift it up slightly um, so the flywheel can clear sorry you're off camera I want to lift this slightly up so the flywheel can clear that's one big mistake I made. I think my position on the holes went quite right. Um, one of those things doesn't help to go and cry and throw, tam throw tantrums about it. Um, make a plan. Um, there's many ways to kill a cat or something like that, skin a cat or I don't know, there's so many, so many sayings and all or most of them are probably true. Um, it's a bit chilly here in England, so uh, yeah, but hopefully next week the weather will pick up. Okay, where do I start? Oh, joints. Just before I go on the drawings, another thing that I've managed to do is um, I print a, a book out, the uh, manual for this. I kept saying it's a Chinese slave, it's actually not Chinese. Uh, oh, I forgot now where it's made everything but uh, anyways I printed out the book for that so 
uh, handbook got that that's a good thing um, so I can start advertising them. maybe a bit more cleaning up and stuff and then I need to work on this um, stand as well the wigwag engine focus okay so piston today now the piston seems pretty straightforward with a pointer pencil would do where are you there so if I can see hopefully you can see as well it's just a round cylinder cylinder around a uh, piece of stock and it's got some detail to it doesn't have piston rings by the look of it um, so you got 5mm top, 5mm bottom or the other way around and a recess in the center mm, 2.5mm deep um, that actually doesn't look that difficult and uh, then we got a crank connector um, we'll look at that later turn this f first so I'll see what I've got um, uh, they don't say what material but I believe the uh, everything out of aluminium the cylinder out of aluminium I want the same sort of material for the uh, piston thing is though if I ever used um, I mean on air it probably wouldn't matter but if I ever use steam if it heats up uh, different materials expand differently some more some less so if I use a different material the um, uh, little space there would be around it around the piston might uh, increase or decrease and then affect the engine to where it fuse or it doesn't have enough compression on this small engine I don't think it's going to matter much but I think it's good practice anyway so um, I'll go and look for a piece of aluminium I'm sure I've got some got a drawer full of it actually um, one that will be sufficient I need them needed uh, 22 long by 15 so oversized probably 22 by 15 I'll go search for that and then we see where we come up with okay guys so uh, <laughs> I'm dressed more for the occasion got the badge on <laughs> Um, the jacket on um, it's getting a bit colder as I said and a bit more clothing actually would be nice and I don't know why I didn't wear it often enough lately there's no specific reason for that um, anyways you're on the life now on the back of the life everything up again and uh, Let's see if I can get you into the action. I've got a piece of aluminium here, and uh, whoever used it before could have been me, even was nice enough to turn one side down. So, uh, you know, it's going to do the job. So, it's just a piece of off cut, and uh, nothing wrong with that. So, um, first action again like always face it off and then turn it down to uh, is it 15 mil yes 15 mil by 22 long so anyways the turning or facing off I don't need any measurements for that any specifics Um, start the machine up. See if it, if she wants to, to work with me today. Of uh, 
I've had a little fight with it lately. Um, just picking stuff up from the floor. Uh, I need to clean, sweep the place out, seeing as uh, I moved a lot of stuff around and stuff. Anyways, okay, so here we go. Just a large pass to start with. And then we see what we have. Okay, so like I suspected, it needs a little more, not much actually. Let's go about infill, that's a bit much, but anyways. That's a decent finish, quite happy with that. Now seeing as, I'll, uh, I'll need to drill in there for the um, piston rod to come out. I might as well give it a center in there. Let me just go and check what size of hole we need. Um, don't really say so I will have to go to the uh, drawing with the piston rods and check that out so that's me guys I'm prepared as usual anyways I've got that done now lubrication and uh, I've I only want to make a, a small mark. I don't want to make a huge. Uh, don't want to go too deep. Too deep. <laughs> I, I just need to drill it in. Now, as I said before. Aluminium, you gotta be careful. The threads and stuff lock up so quick. Okay, that'll do. Now I need to bring in the draw. I'm not too sure actually. How deep I want to go again. Uh, just putting that in the top. Nice. So bring that in. Okay, according to the drawing they went all the way through, um, so the piston needs to be 22 mil. so if I go in 25, I've got a DRO on the, uh, on the tailstock, so that shouldn't be too difficult. So, here we go, just got to be gentle
So guys, it's all good and well to work to the drawing, but I need to make sure that my um, cylinder is the right size. So, there you go with the mic. Now, I know there's techniques to hold the mic, can you see? But, I don't know them yet. I need to go and look at that. Some people has made um, mic holders. That might be an idea so that is 10 11, 12, 14 uh, that is actually not 15 more is it 5 over or 5 under It's it's point four uh, point zero four so four hundredths of a millimeter under the um, actual size. You go and check a few sizes or few space uh, places. Uh, my wording today again a few spaces in the ball Okay, it seems to be that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I'm struggling a little with this um, ball gauge. That's better. I didn't lock it off nicely before so but anyway how do they say practice make perfect no I don't I know I won't be perfect but um, oh yeah so we're pretty much there on 20 Okay, sorry, not 20, 14 point, uh, well, it's point zero three, point zero three of a millimeter actually under. Okay, um, and that seems to be all the way through. So I'm quite happy with that, point zero three. The ball, I don't know if you can see the ball, but that is actually really nice and and smooth i can't remember even if i uh if i use a, a, a what do you call them uh, if i honed it i don't think i have anyways 
doesn't matter it's, it's a very nice clean ball what I can see anyway so okay So guys, excuse my tech, uh, technology. <laughs> Terminology. You see, um, my wording is at a loss today. So, oh, that didn't lock. So, this is at the moment 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19.45. So, it's got a fair way still to go to the 15 mil, and uh, that's good. We're on the right track at the moment. When I get closer, I need to be a bit more careful to take some of this rubbish off. There's my handy dandy little plier before I cut myself. And you'd be right to warn me about that. And uh, it's, it, it did happen before, honestly. But I don't learn very quick it seems so guys we are very close now this is at uh, 15.1 uh, nine 15.19 so we're getting there um not far to go uh, the other one is uh point zero three point zero yeah point zero three under so um the cylinder so this is over still it won't fit but to be sure it won't hurt if I give it a, a sl just a trial and see what it feels like. Now before I do that, I need to take the burr off of this. Because I don't want to scar the cylinder. Yeah, it just won't go yet. Although the tool is in the way, it just won't go yet. Very, very close now. Um, just taking the largest of parts. Um, that is uh, one and a half hour. And that's Imperial now.
what they guys my friends girls um ladies <laughs> this is super close it's just about to go on there um now i don't want to cut it anymore what i'm thinking of doing is now the sanding i've got a bit of i don't know very fine sanding paper i can look at the grit though um 1200 uh, i'm sure that'll do so i'm just gonna sand it to closer Try and keep even pressure on it because you want to take it down evenly. Okay, we get a bit of red. Uh, grit on the inside of that um, cylinder. Let's see what that does. It's just about to to go, guys. But it is still a bit tight. It is actually going. That is nice. I think it needs to go down only a little more. So carry on a little. Surface is pretty nice. I think that's pretty good. I think with a bit of lubrication, that'll be there's uh, no play in it. It's probably only a couple of thou under. It does scratch it somehow a little. Um, okay, I'm going to leave it there for the moment. Unfortunately, it did scar that face a little, somehow. Might be rubbish somewhere. Okay, um, now I need to go back to the drawing. Uh, okay. So, um, we need 22 mil overall, then 5 mil in from either side, we need to cut it in 2.5 mil to create a recess in the center. Okay, so uh, I think it's time for marking again. Uh, just get the oil and stuff off and I'll mark it up into the marker thing. That's actually a lovely colour. 
to be honest. Okay, so I want to go at five mil in. Okay, five mil and mark it there. That's the five mil. And I want to go at twenty two mil the overall length. Mark that. Just setting the old calipers up and I'm just using one of the cheap calipers for marking so don't stress so that's the overall length and I'll zero the caliper and go five more back Five more back. Okay, so that's marked up now. So, uh, between this line and that line I need to go in two and a half more um, I need to find a cutter for that because I actually want to go straight in if I get uh, uh, a little chamfer there chamfer there that might not be a bad thing but I just need to set up find and set up a cutter first okay I'll do that then. Okay, so just setting up the height and I'm using this handy dandy um, uh, gauge that one of the subscribers sent me. Thank you, sir, again. I can't remember your name, but thank you again for that. Look at that. Um, that's perfect, guys. This is so handy a gauge might be a really nice project if you don't have one to make one for your life um, the stop section has a grub screw in the back and it can go up and down and you set it up to your tailstock center and uh, or to your life center and uh, you can set your tools up very nice and easy so that's great okay just a side note. Okay, so I bought this uh, set. There you are. This set ages ago, this cutter set. I um, was quite disappointed. I must have not read the um, description nicely. It's tiny little cutters, a uh, quarter inch. So um, I've gripped it pretty close to the uh, um, tool holder um, so the overhang is minute um, it's got a nice chamfered uh, that's not 45 I don't know what degrees that is but um, that will work fine so I set it up at 90 degrees going straight in so I can cut both sides even so um, I believe I'll have to give it a try. First of all, I need to touch off. So I'm just looking for when it um, make a mark in that blue.
And then I'll reset it DRO. Should be very close now. Thing is though, if you feed it in too quick, you don't get a true marking. There you are. So from that. I want to go in two and a half more, so we ignore that mark anyway. Um, that was just for the purpose of um, starting the project. Okay, I want to actually auto feed it. Uh, uh, Go in. to feed it I need to get a nicer finish but I would also like to bring the tailstock in just for a little bit of support although I think the part is pretty secure still um, it wouldn't hurt The 150 cell at the moment. And we're at 10 point, mm, 10.15 So we are actually very close I think if I take another 100 cell off I'll be happy to leave it in Okay, that's the 100 cal there, according to the DRO, just cleaning up that face, bringing it over, and then I'll clean the other face up also by hand. Quite happy with that, please. Okay, that is nice. Okay, now I need to part it at um, the two point two millimeter, but. Before I part it, remember I still need to thread this. 
Um, so I believe that is actually what I will do now, threading this. Um, this little tool worked actually quite well, so I'm quite pleased with that. Um, I thought when I received it, I, I was actually not very pleased. I thought it would have been a bigger set. Uh, bigger in size, not, not in... Um, dropping stuff not in uh, quantity uh, now as far as I can recall I need to work on yeah my parting tool there is I can feel it there's play there so I need to take this apart and check that. Um, that's the one thing. Okay. The other thing is um, uh, the drilling. Uh, let me get that in. Now the threading. Oh, look down here. Okay, the threading, I oh, know I'm not supposed to do it with Jacob's chuck, but my, um, this uh, tap hasn't got a, a hollow point in the rear, so the uh, following tap, tap follower hasn't uh, wouldn't grip on that I know you get um, a female for that but I don't have any of that so this is the way I'm doing it um, it works okay I just go very slow loads of lubrication and uh, I mean it doesn't take a lot anyway it's such a small um, tap and I just keep an eye on it so I can see the tension on the tap and then I got the machine in reverse so I think I want to go in reverse now I'll just give it a start by hand in reverse really don't want to snap this again I've snapped so many taps it's not even funny anymore so I want to go just about all of the thread in all of the thread on the um, tap And this is probably going to take a while, so I'll carry on. Okay, I think I believe, oh, I believe that I have sorted out the parting tool. Got the height right, um, this is all solid now. I reduced the stick out, so it should all be good now. Now the thickness of the parting tool, although I made a, a mark there, the thickness of the parting tool is 2.2 so 2.2 millimeters uh, I have uh, I touched it down on the outside so I can go 2.2 
the R. Now it's flush. So from this end, I want to go over 22 millimeters. So I need to zero the DRO again. Go over 22 millimeters, which is just there. Lock it off. And that's where I need to part it. Sorry guys, I knocked you again. Um, that's where I need to part it. Okay. Now, I did sharpen this as well. Hopefully it works as good as it's supposed to. Uh, let me get something to touch that in. That's a good. There we are, we have touched down. That seems to work very good. While I'm there, I just want to break that edge. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, um, turn the speed down again and in we go. This works so much better, I should have set it up a long time before. That's a piston. It's tiny guys. Can you see it? It's very small. But that's what the drawing calls for. Okay. Quite pleased with that. Alright friends. You got a thing on your face. <laughs> or me, I have a thing on my face. Um there you have it. It's moving pretty free, and I believe the um, the test would be. Can you hear that? 
that is that is compression there <laughs> I love it at the moment I just got a a uh, just screw rod in there um, just something so I can grip it but um, yeah that seems to run pretty smoothish I mean I will run it in once uh, once I'm set up at the moment uh, it's just it's just the way I made it at the moment um, I don't have all the parts yet to assemble it so next up uh, I think um, probably a crank connector that's out of steel I require it out of I suppose that's because there is a bit of sorry my face in your my you check out my bold spot guys look at my face leave that alone that dome there it's uh it's not all empty but it's not all intelligence but uh, anyways guys um i believe next up if i put this down i'm playing now with it it's not even working and i'm playing with it so i believed up oh i believe next up let's just get my words in order is the um connector crank connector um which is basically i think the top part of it's round so i think that part there is round and the rest is square yeah the rest is square now with me uh i'm slightly thinner on the um uh, what, what's this crank disc let's call it that I'm slightly thinner on the top here and that's where this connector block would um, connect to so the thing is though I need to allow on the one side of it it being slightly wider now I need to go in my uh, the rest of the drawings and check how much wider so I can allow for that thing is though I don't want anything to bind once it's supposed to run I'm um, saying that like I said there will be a bit of running in um, that's a thing with every engine to be honest but um, yeah I mean I try to get the surface is as clean and good as possible the piston at the moment um, it looks slightly scratched but um, it was nicer somehow it ended up looking like that I don't care though because um, there's compression that I quite like Oh, what a beautiful sound. Guys, um, so I think I'm calling a day for the day uh, for this uh, video. Otherwise, it'd be too long. And um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, on last week's um, video, I said about... Um, all the emojis, wrenches and all of that stuff, the thumbs up, I had good replies, I'm quite happy, it showed me you watch all of it to the end, which is great, um, thank you very much for that, um, uh, maybe I'm not that bored, <laughs> it sounds a bit boring to me if I listen to myself doing the editing, guys I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a week ahead and may God bless you. Thank you very much.